we don't really know on Earth why you get thunderstorms at the rate we get them. We look at Saturn, they're very infrequent. We were pretty sure that lightning exists there, but we actually couldn't see it. It's a giant planet with huge atmosphere, and there should be uh, a lot of weather there. We had heard the lightning on the radio instrument on Cassini, uh, but you, you, you hear static uh, on, on the radio signal, but you can't uh, pinpoint where it's coming from. We had to use a synthetic noise because the uh, actual noise that the radio instrument is, is picking up is beyond the human ear. So, so we, we picked a noise that sounded like an electrical discharge. In other words, a big spark. That's what lightning is. It's taken us a long time to see the lightning, and that's because uh, normally the night side of Saturn is very bright because the rings are shining down all the time. The night side of Saturn is brighter than Earth un under a full moon. The strategy we chose was to look at the equinox. And the equinox is when the sun is in the ring plane, so it doesn't illuminate the rings that much. And rings become, become dark and this night becomes dark. When it finally got dark, dark enough uh, at night, uh, we pointed the cameras there and wonder of wonders. Uh, there were uh, lightning flashes and, and took a series of pictures. And in one picture, there'd be no lightning flash. In the next picture, there, it, there'd be a lightning flash. And at the same time, you hear the noise over the radio instrument. And we actually saw it. I didn't believe it. The, the lightning storms on Saturn are very much like lightning on Earth. You get... Uh, the same strength lightning storms, but they, or thunderstorms, they have the same strength, but they're just much less frequent. I'm enjoying the show.